Previously on Vestigial Voice. While resurrecting our PS3 during game capture. Oh, come on, you fat, stinking piece of crap! We discovered a problem with the rock band guitar. Star Power's busted! Overdrive mode or star power activates by tilting the guitar. <laughs> Let's open the instrument for a closer look. After turning off the guitar, use a small Phillips screwdriver to expose the battery cavity. Next, these things are loaded with screws. Most are identical except for the four long ones on the neck and the two short ones on the beveled edge. This is our power it connects to the batteries. We're going to just remove that to give us some more room. So if you look carefully, these are our two tilt sensors. And I can go into detail about how they work in a minute. I'm not sure if they have malfunctioned or have become stuck. There's a couple beads in there. We're going to also adjust the orientation. See if we can get a fix. Remove the two retaining screws on the tilt switchboard. My initial thought was that the two tilt switches were needed to accommodate the ability of the guitar to play left and right handed mode. But that may not be the case. These are always very positional too. If you saw my video on the PS4 controller, slight positioning off really changes the effectiveness of these sensors. But I wanna just, I wanna test it to make sure she even works. Find it surprising that, oh, okay. This wire goes all the way over here. So this is taking care of the sensor. Interesting. Okay. Let's take a closer look at this sensor. Let's use our desoldering gun to remove a switch. to get a better look at this thing. Now these rudimentary tilt sensors contain legs or terminals that start inside and extend outward, shown as T1 and T2 on the diagram. Current is unable to flow from T1 to T2 when the sensor is in the horizontal position. However, when rotated, the beads settle onto the pair of internal terminals, allowing the current to flow from T1 through the beads and then into T2. With our multimeter in continuity mode and a probe on each leg, the disconnected sensor should beep when vertical. Typical malfunctions of these components are that the beads get stuck or lodged inside and are not able to contact the terminals, and simply agitating them may remedy that issue. Oh, that thing's dead. Now another malfunction is that uh, cheaper made components will be coated with metal instead of being a solid metal bead the coated shell can actually come off. So in the name of science, I clipped the top and found the metallic beads completely intact, not fused to the sides or anything. However, there was heavy oxidation on the internal terminals which left our switch permanently open. While I guess demonstrating their fallibility here, the great thing about these tilt switches is that they're inexpensive even in low quantities and the fact that they don't require an integrated or logic circuit. Upon arrival, the new switches worked perfect. Out of curiosity, I attempted to just replace one, but upon testing, the device actually requires two functional switches. 
This probably ended up being a design choice to limit the inadvertent deployment of overdrive mode during play. All right, let's go ahead and install the new pair. Since both of my switches fail over time, I'm actually kind of curious to know if any of you guys out there have guitars that are beginning to show their age with similar problems. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Not bad, we can verify integrity with our multimeter. As I screw down this case for the final test, if you'd like to help us out, I'd encourage you to check out my beautiful apocalyptic novel, Discarded Horse Feathers, available at all major online retailers. And if you decide to order directly from me at vestigialvoice.com, I'd be happy to send you a signed copy. Thank you for stopping by the channel. We'll see you next time. Yeah! Oh my gosh, it worked! I missed the fucking hell, bro.